Hi guys, thank you for stopping by and for watching my video. So today's video will be continuing my previous video that I have explained how to create the AVR running light codes using the Bascom AVR. But today I'm going to use the Codefusion as the programming language to create the code. I actually have used the three programming language for the AVR. They are the Admiral Studio, Codefusion, and the Bascom. I've used three of them, but I personally prefer to use Codefusion because it uses the C language, which is uh, easy to understand. And what I like the most from it, the program created or the hex file created from uh, Codefusion is averagely smaller than any other hex code that created by other AVR programmer. You will be needing the Codefusion to be installed on your computer and then this Proteus as the software for the simulation and now please uh, create this schematic and follow this schematic so I'm using the 12 LEDs here uh, that requires two ports to be involved they are the B ports that contain actually there are 8 pins here but I need only six pin of it because I'm going to use 12 LEDs six from the port B and then six from the port C and then we are now making the codes so open your code vision and create a new project choose your AVR microchip I'm using Atmega 8 so I choose this option and then define the clock speed, the clock frequency I'll keep it 1 megahertz the same setting for uh, this at mega in produce this one and then just save it Now the code is ready, but you don't need to use all of this code. See, delete the unnecessary codes. It will be like this. So now we need to configure the port that is used from this schematic. So you see, we are using the port B and the port C, and uses only six pin of it from the all egg available so now we need to configure it in the code fission so use the same configuration for the port and now we are ready to uh, make the code to control the lead movement to control the animation You'll need to declare the delay for the time. And now we are making a function for our first LED animation. I'm trying to blink this LED, all of this LED. So we need uh, to make the state on for a few seconds, half second maybe, and then the next uh, the LED will be off. So it will goes on and goes off. Let's create the function. So this will be used in the blink function. This will be used for the speed. 
or 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 how long the duration of the animation if you have watched my previous video I have explained you about the on and off state so it's basically use the same technique here you may count how the lag as I said earlier that we are only using six spin of it so we could use only six output let's count it one two three four five six let's make the same for the four e and then give a delay few millisecond let's just copy it Now let's the LED turn it on. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And don't forget to close the bracket. So now our first function is ready. We can declare it here. Blink. And define the duration. Let's say you want the duration for half second, you can define 500 here, and it's done. Let's taste the code. You're going to need to check to see if it's the wrong code, no. And let's just build it. Now we are going to use the hex code that was created just now. Find your project, your code vision project, this 12 LEDs, and this folder, debug, xa 12 LEDs. Let's now try it. Wait, it's the code seems to work. Oh wait, wait. You need to jump for this line. See now the code is working. As simple as that. Let's make another animation. I want the next animation will be to shift or shifting. Let will be shifting. If it started from 1, then it should be start from 0. 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. 6 digit. And don't forget to call the, the function name. If you make fill function, you need to add semicolon there. Okay, it's ready. Now let's just build it. See what happens. Okay, let's make it more. Well, you could repeat this uh, function many times, like three times here. Let's see. Yeah, 
yes that's three time or you could also make a repeating function or repetition function so I'm going to make repetition function here here's the code you need to declare the character for repetition let's say If you want to uh, make three times repetition, you could call or you could use two times here. And if you want to make five times repetition, you could choose four here, so on and so forth. But three times will be enough. And don't forget to break it. Now the repetition here is declared two, but it will repeat for three times. Let's see. One, two, three, and then the next animation three times. See? I think you get it. You could also make the same uh, repetition function for the uh, next animation for the shifting to and don't forget to close the bracket so you could only declare it once here but it will repeat for three times let's see now Two, three. One, two, three. One. Okay, that looks less than what I want. I want it to be twelve times. Now let's see. Yep working so the rest will be to create the another animation so I've given you this the example code and I think you could understand that you need to practice it the principle is very easy to understand the on state is declared with one and the offset is declared with zero you need to count how many digit uses for the pin output and then this sequence number will be representing the position of the led let's say this one in the fourth C this will be the first Lead of the port C or the first number of the port C. Where is the port C? So it will be here. The lead will be here, and then the last lead will be here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then it will be turned on here, and then the same port. And that's applied for the same ports too, for the port B. The port B here in the right. This mean the port B in the right here. I think that's easy to understand and the rest will be your turn to make a good running lead. You could play with your imagination to define which lead will be turned on, which lead to be turned off, or will be defined to your creativity so just play with it I 
think that will be all. So if you have a question, just leave it in the comment section. And don't forget to like, share, and hit the subscribe button. Thank you. Okay, thank you for watching and see you in the next video.